All right, all right, welcome back boys and girls. For people who are fairly new, my name is Iron, so nice to meet you there. And welcome to the Iron Heart community as well. Now, a lot of my subscribers have requested that I make a strip video, uh, I mean a farming video, of course. Or was it a strip video? Well, anyways, I made both of them just in case. So let's get, let's get on with the farming one, just in case. Okay, but for real this time. A lot of my subscribers have requested that I make a video of how I farm over 5,000 unidentified gear each week. So basically, that's what I have here for you today. I don't know about you, but whenever it's about any sort of farming, I always get extremely hungry. So might as well make a little snack. So come on. Wow, haven't you guys seen an omelette before? Come on! Yeah, I guess this is gonna become a thing on my channel from now on. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, of course, just head over and watch my previous video. You'll find out. I'll put the link down in the description for you there. Guys, I finally have an Instagram as well, so if you want to follow me there and see a bunch of stuff, you can do that as well. I'll leave again the link down in the description so you can check it out. I'll try to upload weekly content there as well so you guys can actually stalk me and see what I do in real life as well from time to time. My Discord server is coming pretty soon as well so yeah. If you want to go grab a drink or some kind of a snack now is the time and we can get this party started up. Alright we're in Verdun Brink right now. This is where it all starts and also where Hentai is also born. You know, with all these tentacles infesting the map everywhere. Okay, the first thing you want to do here when you get in Verdun Brink is try and find a group with a commander. 90% of the time there is one, but in case there isn't, the best thing you can do if you have a mount is just go on the platform where the night boss spawns, the matriarch. The boss which drops the amalgamated gemstone. If you don't have a mount, only thing you can do is watch for a rally point, which isn't actually, um, you know, taken over. And you can actually teleport there and probably glide your, your cell phone away to the, uh, the actual platform. So yeah, pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, These, <laughs> you probably see this uh, PvP pot buyer guy. So the thing about him is, uh, whenever I get these portions of PvP rewards, since I don't really like using them myself, I just find a guy who is trustworthy and I just sell him the potions. So, we clear the camp here, we're gonna go upstairs, of course, to the matriarch, and we're gonna try and kill it as fast as we can. Because the main point is, after you kill the matriarch, you know, you kill it as quick as you can, you teleport to Crystal Oasis in the main city. And that's where you wanna go and actually hit the piñata. So, you wanna be really, really fast whenever you teleport from here, all the way to Crystal Oasis. So, you know, have your finger on the M button if that is your map, and then just, you know, be as quick as you can, just like I am right here. Very often, you're not gonna be able to find a group which has advanced to, let's say, round two, because you should be about round two right now. So I try to find the group as quick as I can. And here, I'm not very lucky with this group. It's already full. So what I do, I leave it, and I try this second one. You're not going to be very lucky all the time with a second map, but if you are, nice, you know. You got to be on round two at this point. If you are on round one, and if you start in that group, uh, the next event which we're going to hit is Tangled Deaths. You're actually going to be too late. And 90% of the time, all the groups are already full. So you're not going to be able to get a good group, so you can actually loot a lot of supply catches. And that's one of the main places where you're actually gonna get the gear. Supply catches from Tango Depths and also the big chests from the uh, Auric Basin after you finish the, uh, the whole meta event with the Octobines. So these are the main two components from where you're gonna get the gear. 
but it's not only that, of course, a lot more things on the way. Now here, whenever this event spawns, you know, with the little uh, choyas or whatever they call, always try to hit this event, you know, this is by far one of the most profitable, profitable events ever you're going to find. The event lasts about two minutes. I mean, that's how quickly you kill them, sometimes in a matter of seconds. And very often you get from one to from one to three gold, actually, from this event. For just like one, two minutes. I mean, come on, that's pretty profitable, isn't it? Anyway, you can see right here I have two tier six totems. Um, whenever I do this event, I usually get about four, five, six, even seven sometimes. So even two, it's not that bad, you know, it's okay. Here, you're going to try to hit all the rounds, you know, in the, uh, uh, the Casino Blitz event. You're going to get some coins and these coins, there is a little vendor there on the minimap. I don't know if you can see him. There's a little like globe of uh, ectoplasm. Uh, when you go there, it's like the, the little casino. I'm pretty sure you know it, guys. You can trade all the coins you have for green unidentified gear. And that's what I basically do. You know, if there's nothing you're saving for, like uh, any sort of a kite or a tonic or a mini, uh, you might as well just trade them for unidentified gear to get even a little bit more. It's almost time actually to kill the piñata. Again, when it gets very close to the piñata, you want to be very fast to teleport to the lane, uh, the ley line, uh, to, <laughs> to teleport to the ley line waypoint in Tangled Depths. That's the main point from where all the lanes spread for the uh, the Chag Garen bosses. So you want to join the group right now so you can be ready. What I even do, you know, just to make it even faster. I link the waypoint in my guild chat because if I link it in the general chat here a lot of people are going to use it and they're going to teleport there as quick as they can as well and the chances of the group actually filling up you know to the actual absolute maximum it's very high so you don't want that really you want to link it somewhere privately or whisper it to a friend so we're going to kill the piñata right now and we're going to be as quick as we can Stuck up on all these flags, you can see here the banners, get some food up and running. You want to pump up that magic pine for the supply catches in Tangled Depths. So yeah, get that magic pine. But then, you know. Yeah. We always seem to kill this one pretty fast. So always be ready on guard and just teleport to the lane line uh, waypoint. And here I'm quite slow, but still, I make it in time. So let's see. All right. Okay, you can see I'm not in the group, so I try to teleport to their uh, map as quick as I can. And luckily, I managed to actually do that. One thing I want to point out here. Now, at this moment, I had someone ring my phone. I actually ordered something. You know, I'm doing a little upgrade on my PC. I'm buying new RAM, like 16 gigabytes, uh, 
two sticks of 8 gig, uh, gig RAM, something like that, yeah? Anyways, uh, <laughs> it wasn't me playing this time. I actually let my girlfriend play my character for just a couple of minutes, so she can loot a couple of lanes if she can while I'm gone. So we can be time efficient, of course. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make a lot of unidentified gear if I just sit AFK for a couple of minutes here. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm not the one playing my character, it's her. So be prepared for what you're gonna see. Yeah. All right, let's see what's about to unfold before our eyes right now. All right, yeah, this is the moment she takes over my character. Oh my God. Who knows what's gonna happen? Well, I know what's gonna happen actually. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah these specific binds which i have made for my character are specifically for me you know it's not for anyone else to touch so it is to be expected some things to occur happen <laughs> all right nice she gets a supply catch okay not a bad start not a bad start let's see all right come on you seriously gonna miss that okay nice focus on the supply catches not on the mines you know we're, we're fighting for time here we're fighting for gear not for mines we gotta show these people what we can do okay nice there are two here two supply catches you better not die okay no 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 okay yeah. oh no oh come on this is so embarrassing this is why you don't let your girlfriend play your characters. Come on, guys. I mean, no, 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 no. We cool, right? We cool. Okay, we cool. Okay, I'm gonna fill that one in the morning. Ah, she caught my left eye. Jesus. Oof. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going for just another minute. So let's just uh, see what unfolds before our eyes right now. But she is a great player. She, she's a great player, guys. I'm, I'm serious. All right, guys. It's probably going to be just a little longer before I come back. So I'm just going to play a little music so you can guys sit back and relax and enjoy the farm. And I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, this is me again. So I'm back behind the wheel and I'm taking over my character once again. <sighs> Thank God. All right, so as every single day, whenever I do any sort of farm, I always gotta have a cup of coffee, you know. I just, I can't live without coffee. I don't know why. I just love it so much. Ah, guys, leave me a comment and tell me, 
How do you prefer your coffee? Do you prefer it pure black? Or do you prefer it with milk only? Or with milk and sugar as well? Now guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to loot as many supply catches as we can. Like I mentioned earlier, that is the main agenda here. That's why always you gotta restock on these keys which you actually use to open the supply catches. The thing is, if I gotta be completely honest, this specific run, which you're seeing right here, is not the best one I've had. This is probably one of the worst runs I've ever had, but there is a reason why I decided to put this specific run here as a video. Well, only for Tango Depths. I mean, everything else is fine, but Tango Depths was actually a complete disaster. Why? Well, uh, usually whenever I run Tango Depths and I loot supply catches, I get between 35 and let's say 60 supply catches. On this specific run, I don't know if I got more than 20, to be honest. 20, 20 something, which is the absolute, you know, minimum. That's a disaster. So, where's 25, you know, where's 60 or 50, for example. That's a lot of unidentified gear, basically. Let's put it like that. So, here, you're going to see that I don't have a lot of unidentified gear at the end of the video. I mean, it's still decent. It's not bad at all. I'm happy with the results, but... I'm giving you a good example of what a bad run would look like, let's say. And it's not how bad, actually. I'm quite happy with the results, like I mentioned. Even whenever you have a bad run, even if you catch a bad group in Tango Depths, you're still going to have a lot of gear at the end of the day. At the end of the farm, let's say it like that. <laughs> okay. So here, I'm going to try to kill the Chag Garant so I can try and wrap this all up 100%. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to save a lot of time. If I can one-shot Chag Garand, I'm not going to go through the next event and waste a couple more minutes here around the bus. So if I one-shot him, I'm going to have an extra 3, 4, 5 minutes to go and search for these supply catches. So that's the main idea here. Now, I thought it was going to be a fail at first. I try to run away, but then I should come back and I, you know, I say to myself, now we're going to one-shot this, I can see it's going pretty well, HP is going down pretty fast, so we're going to do this one-shot. One shot, baby. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, it's going down pretty well. The boys, the boys are actually smacking that Chagarin very nicely. Look at that. Look at that uh, behind, you know. So sexy. Always try to stay away from these, uh, these donuts, I guess. People call them donuts. Yeah, they kind of do look like donuts. But I can assure you, they're not very tasty. So please don't go near them whenever you see them. Don't try to bite them, you know. I can assure you, you're not going to like it. Alright. Now, I'm going to give you a good example of what you can do to improvise. Whenever you don't see a lot of supply catches, there's quite a few things which you can do to improvise. So, we're going to do that right now. Also, whenever you can, guys, help out your brothers and sisters on the other lanes as well. I mean, the whole idea of this, you know, this farm is that we actually finish the, uh, the actual meta. Because if we fail, no one's going to get the end chest. And you know very well there is a small chance you can get a Chark Egg Infusion. And that's about 10,000 gold. You know, that's a lot of gold. Once you get this, well, you're rich for life, you know. <laughs> so, help your brothers and sisters on the other lane so we can, you know, get this meta event all wrapped up. And then, yeah. Then, you know, all the time you have ref uh, all the time you have left is all yours, so you can spend it however you like. Isn't coffee just amazing? <sighs> Alright, boys and girls, whenever there's something important I want to mention throughout the farm, you know, keep your eyes peeled. And I'm gonna pop up pop up blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna pop up on the screen, you're gonna see me. Uh, throughout the rest of the time, I'm gonna let you enjoy some nice relaxing music for this farm. So sit back and relax, you know, drink your coffee, your milk or tea or whatever you prefer. I don't judge at all. And yeah, enjoy the farm.
Okay, and now like I mentioned earlier, when there aren't a lot of supply catches, when you come to Tango Depths, we gotta improvise. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So, you try to go actually outside of the actual depths here. You saw what I took a left there. We're gonna kill everything on the way, you know, every single map. Why we do that? Well, gear drops, you know, an exotic could drop, silver drops as well. And sometimes you can see some supply catches on the way as well, which you can loot. There's also trees, plants, mines, and a lot of other things as well. That's what we're going to focus on right now. Because if there are not a lot of supply catches down there, there might as well be a couple actually outside. So we're going to compensate by doing that. Another thing, it's not only about the, uh, the things which you gather when you go on, you know, above. It's also about the mobs you kill. Some of them drop these bags with ley line crystals. The ley line crystals are the most important component actually here. If you don't have ley line crystals, you have no keys. If you have no keys, you can't open anything. So, yep, pretty much it's a win-win or lose-lose. So whenever you don't have any supply catches, just kill as many mobs as you can. You know, if you're too lazy to go outside, that's fine. Go around the tangle depths there down below and kill as many of these chuck you know, bugs, as many as you can. Some of these bags, which drop leyline crystals, could drop about, I think, 50 at once, maybe even more. I haven't noticed more than 50, it's possible. You know, I haven't checked it in the wiki, but if you get lucky with a 50 drop, that's nice. You know, that's, that's two keys and a half, I think, or maybe five keys were actually 40 leyline crystals. I'm not sure exactly. We can see the timer is also almost gone right now, so we want to try and rush back as quick as we can, you know. If, if you feel like you can kill a couple of more mobs on the way, do that. Here you can see the line crystals which I get from the boxes, I mean from the uh, from the stashes. And we're here back just in time, guys. Okay, that's pretty nice. Great, okay. We finished the meta, we have 5 extra keys, we got a lot of loot as well, so we're gonna loot these supply catches here as quick as we can. Now careful, because there are a lot of mesmers putting portals right here, and this is a good example of why I don't really enjoy that. So what you can do, you can just zoom in and click on these supply catches, so you don't get teleported, like I did just now. Please, you know, please, just, just don't, you know, just don't put them there, you're slowing us down. We're trying to go for speed, some of us, you know, we're trying to, trying to run for speed here. Come on, guys. All right. Before you leave, always restock on supply catches. Oh, not supp <laughs> Before you leave, always restock on these keys. Because the next time you come here, you're not going to be able to see the uh, actual vendor unless you finish the meta. And if you want to buy these keys from somewhere else, you're just going to lose more time. This way you're, you know, you're all stocked up, you're prepared for the next run, and you're good to go. Now, here in the Auric Basin, there is a little thing which I do. But before that, always, you know, if you have the Ley Line Converter, always use it every single day to get the best things out of it. Like trophies, uh, like rare runes, rare sigils. Very expensive sigils and runes can actually drop from these. And I'm going to show you a very good example at the end of this farm here at the Auric Basin. So you'll see a little bit later. Over your skin you can see it beat Intoxicating your energy First time in so long you felt the heat Move 
after you finish the four lanes, you know, going from east to west, from south to north, you want to try to dug up as many uh, events as you can on the way. Let's say that's prior explorers and these veteran vine tubes or whatever they're called. If you can't find any sort of events, you know, pretty simple and straightforward, just gather everything you can see on the way, you know, plants, trees, mines, you just name it, everything. I know the sadness that cripples you, it comes in waves and out of the blue, but there are days you feel free. And also, don't forget to kill this treasure mushroom right there, because there is a teeny small chance you can get the invisible boots. They're like 2k gold, I think, you know, 2000 gold. I've never had them, ever. I probably killed this little devil probably more than a, you know, a thousand times. And also, I've run Tango Depths Auric Basin hundreds of times, never had the infusion, you know, still going for it, hopefully someday, before I die, I'm gonna get this infusion which is going to be nice and I'm debating whether I want to use it or sell it but I'm not going to say anything now since I don't have it
you don't want to be one of the guys who actually uh, tag up east and just stay afk for the rest of the actual fight now uh, it's a little bit lame i know a lot of people do it yeah probably some of you like to just sit back and relax during the rest of the fight you know i've done it as well mainly just to go make a coffee or something like that since you have like two three minutes i guess if you're with a good group but if you can just you know go and help the other lanes for example south needs a lot of help and that's why i usually go there i use skills which we, uh, they can either push or pull that way we actually um you know get this exp uh, exploding thingy to the actual end and just you know make the event a little bit easier for everyone So as soon as you finish the Octovine event, you want to go down, you want to hit the actual hero challenge and also defeat the uh, the other guy as well, you know, the little boss there. So if you have the actual mastery for this guy, you can, little, uh, you can loot a little chest at the end and it's going to give you a piece of rare unidentified gear. So, you know, that's a little, little extra extra. And before you start looting these chests, Buff yourself up, you know, get as much magic find as you can so you can have a bigger chance to get some exotics as well. Here you're literally gonna open up everything you have because most of the actual unidentified gear is contained within these catches which you have so open everything you can um, you can see as well i'm opening these uh, rare rune bags and rare sigil bags which i have from the lane line converter i'm gonna put it on the screen here so you can see how it looks if you don't have it go get it right now just run the dragon stand and when you kill the final boss you're gonna get the lane line converter you have no idea, no idea, 
how much gold I've actually made from this thing, you know. I have days when I made like 50 silver, but I have days where I can make a couple of gold, like 5, 7, 8, 10 gold even, which is, you know, at the end of the month, that's like 50 extra gold. So, it's pretty nice. I don't think it's that bad, really. Do you? All right, after I finish the meta events, I just go and wooden brink and buy these provisioner tokens, which you can see on the screen. Now, these tokens, I use them to buy these exotic satchels. These satchels, 100%, they contain an exotic piece. Whether armor or weapon, it's just randomized. And I've actually had two precursors opening these. Two precursors, you know. That's why I'm going to do an opening uh, on these chests in the future. I just want to gather 500 provisioner tokens to buy 50 chests, which is going to take me a while, but it's going to be an epic opening, I can assure you. You know, 50 exotics. <laughs> and one last thing here, whenever I come to get my provisioner token in uh, Verdant Brink, I just use all the crowbars I have around the area. And not only that, after I use the crowbars, if some of you know, you know, some of you may know, some of you might not know, there is a little river which has a lot of mussels. So I just run the whole river for a little chance to get a pearl, which is from three to five extra gold. And very often I am lucky and I should get a pearl. So this is what we're gonna do right now. You know, we're gonna use all the crowbars we have in the area, then just go grab as many mussels as we can. And that's how we're gonna wrap it all up. So let's get the rest of the mussels here in the river. And I'll see you guys in just a bit. Over your skin you can see it beat Intoxicating your energy First time in so long you felt the heat Alright guys, I'm thinking of wrapping the video here at this part. Now, when you look at my inventory here, you can see that it's pretty full. You know, I have a lot of things from this farm and it took me just a little over an hour. The thing is, I run this whole event twice a day, but this is the good part. Whenever you run it once, you can actually skip the night bosses and you can also skip the piñata because you're not going to get an amalgamated gemstone anymore. It's just once per day. And by skipping these two events, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time, you know, like a lot of time. You only gotta run the Tango Depths and you gotta run the Auric Basin after that. So the second one is gonna be like twice as short as the first one. Overall, a little more than an hour and a half and you're gonna get a, a lot of unidentified gear, trust me. And it's pretty laid back, you know, it's pretty relaxing. Uh, it's not very difficult or anything like that. You get the currency to buy the keys, you open the supply catches and the chests, that's pretty much it. Simple as that. Like I mentioned in the middle of the video, this is actually one of the worst ones which I've had. So you can see here, I don't have a lot of unidentified gear. You know, if you combine everything, it's just a little over 100, uh, 270 actually, which is, you know, it's pretty low. Um, but this is just an example, actually, this is not a bad thing. This is an example of what a bad run looks like. Imagine if you have a good run, you get, you know, uh, over 350 unidentified gear in just one run. And that's pretty epic, you know. Make two runs, you get like almost 700 if there are two good runs. And that's a lot of gear. And then just one day. This is just from doing these events. This is not including the other things which I do throughout the whole day. So it is pretty epic. And it's pretty enjoyable as well. With a nice chance, well, actually with a pretty bad chance, to be honest, of getting an infusion for like 10k gold and an aurelium, aurelium, aurelium infusion for like 2000 gold, I believe. So yeah. So, thank you guys for watching very much. It was quite enjoyable to make and I'll definitely see you in the next one.